we're going to look at creating an EVES detail from a 3D model using ARCHICAD's priority based connections. Firstly we're going to model the exterior walls by selecting the insulated block work profile wall type and creating the walls using the rectangle drawing method. We can now change the height of the walls, linking them to the roof story level. The roof is going to be created in two parts. Firstly the main roof structure and secondly the eaves which doesn't include the insulation or plaster skins. The eaves can now be trimmed back to intersect with the main roof using the magic wand tool. Now we can create a section through the model. These are the same elements that we saw in the floor plan and 3D view. We can select the roof planes on the external wall and merge these together causing them to intersect. The components of the lower priorities will be trimmed by the higher priority elements. Now we'll create a detail marker generating the detail drawing from the section view. To create the fascia, the edge angle of the roof planes can be changed to vertical. This has been applied to all sides of the roof as we can see in the section. After rebuilding the detail drawing, this will also show the changes to the 3D model. Everything up to this stage has been modelled as 3D elements and a further level of detail can now be added using 2D objects. Stretchy objects are being added to show the individual blocks and mortar for both skins of the composite wall and the timber profile object for the fascia board. The roof tile object places a series of tiles at regular spacing and is fully parametric for different tile types and dimensions. The final object creates a regular steel profile for the standing seam soffit. Finally, we can adjust the membrane generated from the original 3D roof element past the fascia board. This drawing at the current stage is generated from three 3D elements and five 2D objects. We can compare this with the original 3D elements which give the level of detail expected in the 1 to 50 drawing in the 3D window using the 3D cutting planes. This is generally the level of detail modelled in 3D. Going back to the detail we can now complete the drawing of annotations. Firstly I'll set the view to the correct scale and add a dimension to the insulation. Now the annotations can be added to the drawing with the label tool. In this example I've saved favourites which remember the style of the labels including the text size and pen colours as well as the annotation text itself. I'm simply drawing the labels into the correct positions but they can be associated to the elements within the drawing. If you have MBS link and a specification file then MBS clauses can also be associated to the drawing. The dynamic link with MBS would flag up any changes that have been made to the clauses in each individual drawing throughout the project file. ARCHICAD's drawing manager can then be used to ensure that the drawing sheets are up to date at the time of the next issue, assisting with revision control.